for joining me on another Honeymooning in Honduras adventure. I'm Nicole Marder and this week we take Gabby and Marcio from Sandy Bay to French Harbor in the northern part of Roatan. Our newlyweds enjoyed three spectacular days at Palmetto Bay Plantation. Upon arrival to the hotel, they were received with an exotic tropical fruit punch, a great way to welcome a new destination filled with new exciting adventures. Gabby and Marcio's honeymoon casa was absolutely amazing, with two comfortable rooms, each with its own private bathroom, a fully equipped kitchen with an open bar table overlooking the large living room and beautiful dining room, and a balcony all around the casa, Palmetto Bay Plantation was paradise inside and out. After settling in the casa, we arranged for a canopy tour that afternoon. If you're looking for an adrenaline rush, this is it. One zip line after another, the excitement just got better and better. Gabby and Marcio made their way through treetops, rope and hanging bridges, obstacles, and miles of spectacular rainforest. Finally, it was time for dinner. The hotel prepared a special romantic dinner for them at their open bar restaurant next to the pool. In a beautifully decorated table with flowers and candles all around, the newlyweds enjoyed each other's company with a tropical island punch, great wine, delicious food, and a delightful live music by the band. They even played a special Honduran song for the newlyweds to dance to. Early the next morning, we were all off to a boat ride along the north coast of Roatan. A very friendly captain welcomed us at the front desk to take us to our island discovering ride. Along the way, we discovered a little bit more than just amazing beach houses and sites, but it all just made it even more exciting and definitely hard to forget. The chilly rain was the perfect excuse for Gabby and Marcio to cuddle up and enjoy the moment. Once back at the hotel and safe in their casa, Gabby and Marcio relaxed with a bottle of champagne courtesy of Palmetto Bay Plantation and ordered a delicious burger in paradise from the restaurant. Since the rain wouldn't stop, Gabby and Marcio had to cancel their two-passenger plane ride to see the sunset from the sky and a picnic in a private key that the hotel had arranged for them. Instead, they ordered an hour massage for two, which they enjoyed in the privacy of their casa. No better way to let paradise sink in. After two days of adventure and complete relaxation, it was time to say goodbye to Roatan. But not before a quick lunch at Casa Romeo's in French Harbor, famous for their spectacular seafood. Gabby simply refused to leave the island without first tasting the delicious Casa Romeo's king crab. And boy was it worth it. With a glance back at the island from the ferry, Gabby and Marcio said goodbye to Roatan, taking so many unforgettable memories which they will treasure forever. Thank you.